You got to the point in the resolution, fellas, where you say, and all men who sign this say, I will confront evil, pursue justice, and love mercy. Now, it kind of sounds like superhero talk here. <laughs> you know, I, I see a guy putting on his cape. Right. What's it mean to confront evil? Well, I, I, let me start off by saying there's, there's a famous phrase. It goes something like, all it takes for evil to thrive is for good men to do, to nothing. do nothing. Edmund right. Burke said that. Right. Yeah, and yeah. so, and so the, the, the first thing is when we do nothing, we say, well, that's not my business. We already know we're, we live in a fallen world with fallen carnal natures. Mm. Evil is going to thrive if we do not combat it. Mm -hmm. And so it, when you read through, especially the, the New Testament, uh, Corinthians, Paul is constantly reminding the believers in the church, you must confront evil and make sure it's out of the body of Christ, to get it out of the house of God. It, Jesus went and overturned the tables right. partly to get rid of evil in the house of God. And so there was a time and a place and a method for confronting evil the right way and, and getting, getting rid of it so that it does not uh, stain or... or um, uh, hinder uh, the, the growth of, of our culture, especially the house of God. Again, we go back to love. I keep thinking about this, Jim. Yeah. If I love my kids, I'm going to confront the rattlesnake in the backyard before it bites them. Yeah. You know? yeah. If I love my kids, I'm going to lock the door at night mm -hmm. uh, so that nobody's going to come and get them. You know? mm -hmm. Love drove Christ. You know, he, he, he weeps over Jerusalem and then he says, um, you know, I, how I long for you and then uh, to gather you like a, a mother hen, you know, her baby chicks up under her wings. And then he goes in and he runs out the money changers. So there was a tear in his eye. It was his compassion uh, and, and, and defense of the Father's holiness, part of it, true. But his love for the people that would cause him to say, this is destroying you. You know, this cancer that's in your life, we got to get this out. And we have moral cancer in our society. Mm -hmm. We have all kinds of things that will destroy the consciences, the purity of our children, our families, our culture. And a good man, if he really loves his neighbor is, and loves the people around him, is going to have to not only reach out to them in compassion to meet a need, but he's got to say no to the things that are going to destroy them. I want to know what God expects of me. The Resolution for Men by Stephen and Alex Kendrick strategically inspires men to reconcile with their past, re-engage in their present, and move forward with a bold resolution for the future. God has set a standard for all of us, and it is an awesome standard with awesome results. And we need to choose God. Are we going to do it your way, or are we going to try to do it our way? The Resolution for Women by Priscilla Shire challenges all women to be intentional about thriving in God's calling on their lives to bless and change things in their world for the better. But the ripple effect that it's going to have on the people you love is going to be staggering. The Resolution for Men and Women is a movement intended to help strengthen your family, community, and our nation to become fully resolved. We would like to send you a copy of one or both of these books as our thanks to you for your support please call 1-800-265-3100. You can also write us or visit crossroads.ca.